Welcome back to another enemy AI video tutorial where we have a grenade thrower and for example if you want to have this a little bit more fancy I can actually uh, do a optional content where, where you have some bounciness but I guess this is basically the same but just uh, well not explosion on impact but a little bit of bounciness and then at the end it will explode but basically this is the same stuff so if you want to know how to do that in game maker studio stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing Alrighty, for this setup basically we're having an object with one sprite this is kind of interesting so we're gonna do uh, the animation on the frame which is the second one so basically the image index of two since it's a little bit difficult to hit it uh, very specifically on this spot so we're gonna do uh, one thing with a variable but then uh, we will create then well our dummy grenade and then for example upon well having a contact with a wall which are those guys here uh, those guys here then boom it will destroy but first of all what we're going to do is create well the logic in the step event of our dude here and then we will create uh, well our throwing of the grenade so here we're just going to say like hey if image index is bigger or equals two and then of course here this is a little bit bad because uh, we cannot have that like this sometimes uh, it will skip this number which isn't too good so therefore we want to uh, have another variable just one which is called have we already attacked so if it's then for example false we haven't attacked and then for example at the very beginning just one little variable um, so here boom and then for example if you haven't attacked then we say like hey attack is true so we have a oh, true one cycle where we want to uh, create a grenade and therefore later on uh, once a whole animation of the sprite is done then we just go under animation uh, and and then we just say false again and therefore we're creating a loop where we can per animation cycle just attack once this is of course then just uh, for visual representation not very important uh, overall and if you don't know where animation enters so basically here other animation end and then this is, if we were on the last frame reset this one variable this is basically it so what we're going to do is var grenade here we go and then instance create layer sounds here we go and then let's say uh, minus i don't know 10 15 because we uh, the alignments at the bottom so basically we just go a little bit higher and then uh, on the same layer so here we're gonna be a little bit lazy and then we just create a grenade and this grenade is getting a few properties so the first thing is we need to have once for example it's created we want to go in a parabolic arc so not just straight in a line but here and then going downwards so first of all we need to define uh, a direction which is going upwards so we just say hey grenade and then we say like uh, speeds I don't know what kind of speed do I have let's go with a random range so let's go between four and five so it looks a little bit nicer because not uh, all well the throwing should look the same but of course if you like it that way you can have it and then for example we go direction and set it let's say 45 degrees which is then upwards of course we can go actually let's make this a little bit more random so boom and then we're just adding uh, minus 5 to 5 a little extra so basically we just have some variation for now the grenade would be throwing upwards which isn't too good and therefore we're gonna modify it with well some gravity so let's go and say gravity boom and then just give it a small number so 0.1 and then of course here it depends how you want to define it um, go with different numbers so 
until uh, well it looks good for you of course we need to set a, a gravity direction which is at the start zero so it would be going to the right no 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 and then for example once we started this thing is already here so let's check it out interesting so as you can see uh, we are throwing our grenades and then they are sticking but of course as you can see um, they have different kind of arcs because um, we are having a variation concerning the speed and the, the angle which we are throwing and therefore we are doing that so what else do we want to have well the first thing which we want to have with our grenade is that we want to uh, have this grenade being destroyed so dummy thrower dummy grenade yeah this is good but we want to have that thing uh, being destroyed on impact so basically we just say like hey if we're hitting uh, our wall then we just say like hey instance destroy so first of all not deactivate come on destroy here we go and then what we can do and this is of course then optional but i think this is of course looking a little bit nicer if we are well exploding so therefore we have that and of course here this would look a little dull and therefore we just say like hey image angle just for the rotation and then we just update it let's go with five so let's check this out alrighty so what you're seeing right now is a pretty sweet thing and then boom 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 we are throwing and then of course upon touching um, it is destroying so this is once again the grenada and for example if you want to go a little bit more uh well let's call it a little bit you want to have this kind of bounciness which i already showed in another video so maybe already you know how to do that well we're gonna do it right now so this is once again optional content so let's say um we say like hey we want to go and uh, bounce off the wall of the thing then we just say like hey we don't actually destroy it we just create a destroy event where we still explode it but once we destroy it and for example now we just say like hmm what can we do move bounce and solid and then we have a bouncing motion of course this will lead to a thing that it is bouncing not as it should be because um, we are not lo losing any momentum so for example if you for example started right now that thing would go for infinity so um, let's go into our grenade and just say like hey at the very beginning give it an alarm event so alarm here we go and then say for example the first one zero let's give it uh, three seconds let's go a little bit longer something like this and then for example upon reaching that we just say instance destroy so here uh, our grenade won't be lingering around for eternity so let's check this out and what you see for example now boom we are throwing but <laughs> they are pretty much bouncing all the time and there is uh, that actually that is actually looking pretty neat to be honest i haven't checked this out so this is pretty cool but let's say we want to lose a little bit of our momentum so one thing which we can do is to give friction to our grenade so the last thing which we can do and just go friction no here we go and then set it to what did i put it in uh, a very small number so here once again just uh, play with the numbers until the result looks good to you and then for example once started and then boom as you can see some bounciness and the bounciness is getting reduced and as you can see boom just a little bit but then of course play around uh, how much friction you want to have um just a little information friction is just reducing your overall speed as a value for example if you input a very high friction value so let's say we would go with uh, 0 0.1 or even more then this would happen this is not what we want to have as you can see boom boom so basically <laughs> just uh, be a little bit mindful with your friction because at some point it is reducing the speed value to zero and then well, 
this isn't i guess what you want to have so hopefully that was of interest to you a very pretty easy way to do that in game maker studio just with the speed the direction and well a little bit of gravity and of course the bounciness as optional content Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indie.